Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about why you should try the game Albion Online. Albion Online is a medieval fantasy MMORPG developed by Sandbox Interactive. I just recently started playing Albion Online, and I would love to give you my experience with Albion after just the first couple of weeks. Like some of you, I always love playing games like RuneScape or Diablo 3 or even World of Warcraft. I love the idea of being able to have a 99 in woodcutting without any combat skills, or only spending time doing combat skills and just ignoring the non-combat skills like woodcutting. This flexibility made me love these games for the most part. I love starting new accounts and creating my character to be what I wanted him to be. Albion Online gives you an amazing amount of freedom allowing you to achieve any goal you put your mind to. Most of you are probably here because you know the game is coming free to play on April 10th. This is a huge deal, as this game already had a steady population of people. This will create a population boom and get Albion thriving better than ever. Let's talk about more of the positives positives before we talk about some of the negatives. Albion Online is a completely open world MMORPG, allowing you to access all the content and travel anywhere on the map for no cost in or out of the game. This allows players to wander around and explore this amazing world without having to re ever return to where they began their journey, giving them plenty of experiences including different biomes, terrain, animals, and enemies along the way. Albion Online also has no classes. We are the same class with the capability of learning any skill, whether it be a staff with a hunter hat and an assassin jacket. You can combine different combinations of gear allowing you to create insanely unique builds. This allows for really fun gameplay. Whether you are running the same dungeon for hours upon hours, or you keep losing in PvP battles. Albion Online has almost no questing, which may be a positive or a negative for you. However, to me, this is a major positive. I know a lot of you have probably dealt with the stupid and pointless quests that wouldn't allow you to play the game as you like. Quests in similar games would block you from doing certain activities, dungeons, or other events until you completed their pointless task. Outside of the tutorial, you will have to follow no quests and will be able to live your life questless and it's a great feeling. Albion Online literally has something for everyone. There are endless skills to level including woodcutting, crafting, fishing, farming, mining, and tons of other skills that include combat skills. This game has some of the best PvE with the newly updated random dungeons added to the game. These dungeons give players a new and fun experience every time as you group up in a party and take on bosses of the dungeons. The company is currently working on a newly updated and expedition allowing for even more fun PvE content. I know I said the PvE is great, however one of the reasons the PvE is so good is because you are able to party up with random players from around the world. You share all XP and silver drops while together, and this allows all players to play as a team. Drops in this game are always player bound for a few minutes after the drop, which is another great feature in Albion. This allows you to take your time looting and not be worried about the selfish players you may have teamed up with. Depending on where you choose to attempt a dungeon, you may also have the possibility of getting ganked by other groups of players, giving you constant fear in certain zones of the open world. You are rewarded for better drops and resources in these zones. Now that you have a little bit more understanding of the PvE, let's try to take a second and learn a little bit more about the PvP content. So Albion Online has many ways to PvP from challenging random players and friends to duel for silver, to running with a party of people and ganking players in their dungeons, to huge guild versus guild battles, to killing them sorry fishermen all alone in the black danger zones. There are also 2v2 and 5v5 full loot drop battles available to all players. Finding yourself players in this game is fairly easy. One of the best ways to improve your experience in this game is by starting or joining a guild and making friends. This game is an MMO allowing you to play with anyone at any time. Take advantage of the party feature and guild feature. This game is much more fun with more players as this game lacks in about two ways. One, lack of solo content. In this game almost everything is better in a group, whether you are PvPing or running a dungeon as a group. Running a dungeon as a solo is almost impossible at higher tiers, and PvPing alone can be frustrating at times in the open world, as you get jumped by groups of other players if you mess with the wrong guy. Number 2. Premium. 
In a perfect world, there is no premium membership. Everything is free and equal among all players. However, we do understand that the game is going free to play, and they must earn money somehow. Sadly, premium is their way to earn money, as well as being able to buy gold straight from their site. This game is definitely paid to progress faster. However, you can very easily go without paying any real money and still have a chance at competing with the highest ranks in PvE and PvP content. I suggest everyone gives this game a real shot, as this is the best MMO I have played in a long time. I truly appreciate the open world aspect and unique builds available to all players. I love the level playing ground and all of the content that is available for PvP and PvE players. Sandbox Interactive truly seems to care about their player base, and I have gained a lot of respect for a company in just a few weeks of gameplay. I am excited for Albion Online's future, and I hope to see you around. Please subscribe for more content as I play a variety of games, from Rocket League to Albion Online to the future of Halo MCC. I appreciate you guys that have been out there supporting me for a while, and I welcome all new supporters. Later guys, this is Graphic. See you next time.